I mentioned, and we're already late, and I apologize to you, Dira, um, that we have a fabulous guest. We had her on last Thursday, and I just thought she was so wonderful that we needed to have her back again um, this week. So I don't know if she's with us yet, Traven. Is she with us? Is she joining us? I'm waiting to see. And while I do that, I'm looking on the live feature to see if anybody has sent anything else. I'm here. Let me open up She's my She's there. Hi. Let me see. Here we go. Uh, share content screen. Okay. Start video. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> I see you. We're almost in matching tops. Look at that Vulcan it's mind mount. We are in the flowery mode. and the That's right. Mode. I just love what you were saying. So, and the intra verbal, I wrote a comment about that, and uh, it is so true. So, I'm just now uh, reading the comments because I can't see them when I'm in the PowerPoint. Uh, so, you said watching movies over and over, stopping asking questions helped us immensely to work on expanding vocabulary and answering questions. Totally. And then uh, Rainbow Mosho says Christmas, it's uh, her favorite time of year. It's all about love to her and the details that come with it. She has a Christmas tree up year round. I love that. Uh, and living in the now is indeed challenging many days. Uh, and I think it is for, I, I mean, it, I don't live in the now. I'm just going to be honest. It's very hard. I have to consciously pull myself into the present um, and make an effort to do that. And I find I don't hang for very long, but even three seconds is its own little miracle. What do you think, Yadira? Yes, I do live in the now. And uh, yes, my mind, there's a little space in the back of my mind that goes to what could be happening six months, nine months, 20 years from now. But I have to live in the now because I am- What's, one... What are you thinking about? Yeah, I'll tell you in a second. Did you say hi to Shannon? Hi, Shannon. Out. Hello, sweet pea. Hi, Shannon. You look beautiful today. Thanks. <laughs> have you, I, it's been a whole week since I've seen you. Have you managed yeah. to have any? Have you managed to have any fun this week? Yep. What did you, weekend? What'd you do? Um, this, uh, we celebrated my mom's birthday. <gasps> That's right. Happy birthday. That was Monday, right? I'm fifty-three. I'm fifty-three. <laughs> wow. Well, you're a youngin. I'm 57. So uh, I, we, are, we are youngins. <laughs> you are a youngin. And uh, so did you, did she make you any art prize for her birthday? Um, she did not, but she was awesome because she went along with the whole process and we had multiple celebrations and they involved um, hikes and meals at people's homes um so it, she was she was the best present you know love it yes. i love it love it love it ready to live it ready to what you were just saying ready to live the day ready to live the today and this is what matters now and it is uh -huh. that moment that us as parents have to realize good our kids are understanding you know that yes we parents are here to give our all but there are those instances where we also matter. And at this point, she has the capability of understanding that. And she responded yeah. in kind. So I'm very, very fortunate. Mom? Uh, she has a question. It's okay. You I'm always about, Mom? yeah. You have a question? Yes. I got two questions, actually. Okay. What's your favorite animal? Oh, that's a tough one. I, you know, I love my dogs. Uh, so I, and, and now I have a new dog. Um, and I've always loved dogs, but I really love otters and I love camels. Oh, that's a good color. So, so what's your favorite animal? Oh, the blue whale because I uh, because it's the largest animal on the planet. Have you ever seen a blue whale? No, I. Well, didn't we see one in New York City, the museum? Yeah, Even there was the statue. Alive? Yes. There you go. It's well, that's pretty huge. Cool. So it that's, fit in the entire ocean exhibit. Yes. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, I've I've had the opportunity to go and see some otters and to see some camels, but I've never gotten to pet an otter or pet a camel. Uh, yes. But that's that's on my platypus. list. <laughs> a, a platypus? Yes. Oh my goodness! I I would love to meet a, a platypus. Yes. Me too. Uh, 
do you have any pets? Do you guys have pets? Oh, we have fish. But every year when I'm, uh, every year, every year of my life, I always ask my mom if we could ever get a puppy, but she always says no. At this point in our lives, our reality does not allow us to bring into the household the yes. space, the money needed, and the care. And she's getting older. And like I tell her, you need to be very patient. These are things that in the future we can consider, but right now it is not realistic. I got to be honest, my dog, uh, my son didn't, he asked for a puppy forever and he didn't get one. I think he was 12 when he got a, a puppy for the first time uh, because we, we weren't living someplace where we could have one. And now suddenly we have two. Um, <laughs> so, you know, sometimes, you know, wait, because maybe sometime it'll happen for you too. Yeah. What kind, of, what kind of a dog would you get? Would you get a big dog or a little dog? A big dog, because I've heard of the world's biggest dog breeds. They're big and fluffy. Big and, fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, and what that represents the big and fluffiness of everything the dog will do mom so we need a yes. big house we need a big yard so mom, yes. great and a big yeah, vacuum yeah, cleaner and big mega <laughs> yeah. mom what were you thinking of what will happen in a few months or 20 years it, it, anything that could be happening that's a, she's it, this is what i love the whole process that now she's listening to what I'm saying yes. and everything is being digested and she heard me say something and now she's asking me you know what are you thinking of because in I her case that. I know in her case she always has something that she's thinking of that she would like for it to happen but then once again to put me into consideration and bring me to her equation you know I want to know what it is that you're thinking that may happen in six months or 20 years you know Yes, that is higher level, you know, critical thinking. It's where everybody's trying to get. So I want to know, what do you think that you did and worked on that helped her to get that? Um, the, the movies, that was key. That whole introverbal, the, and I, to make the conscious decision, again, this is what I keep insisting, and parents send me notes, what have you done? I see your daughter, oh my goodness, your daughter, she can do it, you know, just like, and yeah. it's been a lot of work. We've been eight years at this. Um, I don't take anything for granted, but in the last, the, she just turned 12. So when she was between five and eight, every movie that she saw, and it's tiring, but I found the time and I did it. We, I sat down with her or I'm around. I make her stop the movie and I would ask her, what just happened? Who is that? How are they dressed? What are they saying? Why is this important? And I would bring back a couple of events or a couple of scenes from before. And I asked her, but wait, wait a second. I don't understand what happened before. And why is this happening now? And she would learn and she did learn to seek that relationship and understanding that there is a flow and a continuity in a story and she mm -hmm. would proceed oh my goodness 300 times and she would explain to me the whole movie and that's why she, a lot of our kids have the capability to memorize movies but yes. then but then that capability is magnificent and is very powerful but again us as parents we need to expand on that capability and we need to bring in our kids to the now and the now is that we need to ask those questions so our children are not only spitting out and repeating the movie but putting their mind these other spaces in the brain at work and answering those questions that we are asking at first whoo, many times there were no answers and you know that shannon there were no yes answers. i do yes there were no answers and I gave her the answers. I gave her the answers. So again, whatever was happening in her brain, she could continue to establish the links and the relationships as time passed. Uh, how many times did I say hip hip hooray, here goes my daughter, she gets it. And in the last three or four years, she is the one right now who stops the movie and say, mom, did you see this? This is what happened, blah, 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 blah. And I have to clear up. And then she's not only talking about the movie, she's also correlating it to some knowledge she may have acquired.
inquired about her particular interests, you know? So mm -hmm. this is a lot of work, but it is work that it is so rewarding. It is so Absolutely. worth it. And I urge you parents, please, Please, I know you're busy. I know now we are worried. I am unemployed right now. I have mm -hmm. no guarantee of employment. I'm looking for a work from home job, you know, but all of that, I know I will find a solution. I remain in the now. I remain in the present. What it is that my daughter needs today. Okay, so we can continue building on on her challenges. Last week was mega fascinating as we were in the middle of celebrating my birthday. Here we go, puberty, the reality, mm. exactly. And you know tons about that too, Shannon. Mm. <laughs> that, would be a topic for, that would be a topic for another show if yes. we can come back, okay? But again, living the present, living the day. And if it comes with beauty, like you just said, absorb that moment, like you just said, seek that sensory experience. But on the other hand, if the day begins with the challenges, do take that step back. This is your now at this moment. Deal with it as best as you can. Reach out, make that phone call. There are so many groups. There are so many phone lines. And so I don't accept it when my parent tells me, I don't know who to go to. And I say, well, for starters, you just come to me, which yeah. is great. I don't have answers for you, but have you considered this, 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 and that? There are so many organizations that are out there and they can help us, but it is only up to us to make sure that we make the connection and we create that link. Our, the needs of our children are not going away and we have to work very hard at them to make sure that we are going to um, do the best we can to learn from them, um, being in parental police, psychiatrist, psychologist, social worker mode on a 24 seven basis, it's draining. It's very challenging, but in every day that we have, there is opportunity and we need to seek that opportunity to make it better. Now, I gotta ask you because you are so upbeat, you are so positive, you are such a inspiration and such a mover and shaker, but I think that people often assume that um, people who are upbeat, never have a bad day, never ever felt down in the dumps. So like, maybe if you could talk to people about, first of all, a, a period of time when you didn't know what you know now and were feeling like maybe it was overwhelming and how you got through that and how you handle when things are hard now. First, um, about four or five years ago, uh, things were very difficult. The mice's needs, the reality, uh, the um, lack of stability. And for us parents, you know, now I'm a single mom with my family supporting now the best way they can. And then at that moment, they also wear. But again, with our children, it wasn't always what I needed. And there were many moments where I felt alone, where I was scared. <laughs> where I felt sad and I just, um, and I, I, had, I have had suicidal thoughts and I've written about it. And um, I, how did I make the decision? It's okay. Is she, did, is she okay? I wanna make sure she's okay before we do, okay. She's good, thank you. Just a cup of water that got spilled. One yeah. of our day-to-day -day occurrences. Yes. But I, but I always, <laughs> I always say our kids come first. It's a live show yes. and you know, we have dogs barking and whatever. Our kids come first. So she's okay. Good. We're all good. She is doing perfect. Thank you. Good. <laughs> so um, with those challenges and um, the thought process going to the seeking an end and seeking the terminating because um, at that moment, what we think is this is the best solution is gonna be best for everyone. I'll be gone, I'll disappear. And at the same time, in less than 20 minutes here, I am thinking about, oh my God, what's gonna to happen to my daughter? What's gonna yeah. to happen to my family? What are we gonna do about this, you know? So um, in my case, um, going through the thought process, understanding what it meant and realizing that I needed help and realizing that I needed extra supports. And that became the drive. And that became that big push for me to 
create um, meetings in Florida, parental meetings where I saw the opportunity to bring in everyone. Everything that my child did, it became um, the source of communication, the source of openness, and the source of correlating to everybody else. We are all going through the same. We are all going through the same. And if we don't talk to each other, if we don't understand that there's a problem, and if we don't understand that we have the power to find solutions, then we're not helping ourselves and we're not gonna be doing anything about it. So um, that was my process. And at that time, and then everything flourished and there were these opportunities. I went to the United Nations in 2017. Then the opportunity came that one of my parent panels, Autism and Employability, was filmed by the WEDU PBS channel from Tampa Bay. We were a part of the documentary. Um, and uh, just to continue to open the doors and realize there's so much to be done. There's a long walk ahead, but it's worth every hardship that we go through. Because like that, I can help. I can not gonna keep my daughter in a bubble and I have not kept her in a bubble. And what we went through eight years ago when we arrived in the United States through the whole transition, Amais was born in Greece. And we left Greece mm -hmm. almost eight years ago. So um, what we experienced there and the, the beauty of it, yet the difficulties making the decisions to come to the US and realizing, oh my God, this doesn't solve everything, but then continue to seek the opportunity to find solutions, okay? And realizing that if I want to give my child quality of life, I am going to be sacrificing, and this is a decision I made, and many moms and dads have made the same decision, where I am not seeking for that $150,000 job because I refuse to be gone from 6 a.m., come back home at 8 p.m., and not be a part of my child's life, making money but paying people to take care of my child. Uh, yeah. Me, I cannot do it. I respect those who have, and they are making the best, of their abilities and working hard to move their children forward, but I could not do it. And this is where my family has come in and this is where the incredible circle of support I have created and we are doing so good. We left Florida two years ago. We're here in Tennessee and we've created this powerful community through the Scott Hamilton Skating Academy and the All Stars and the Ice Skating, Borderless Arts Tennessee. They have incredible activities where Tomais's art is flourishing. They are creating opportunity, which is what I love, what Temple Branding was asking on Tuesday. How do you create opportunity? Bottom line, you expose your child to everything. If you don't go out there and go again through the reality and hardship of the diagnosis, what can happen? Be patient and decide, okay, this is hard, but we're gonna survive it. And this is hard, but my child is going to learn. My child is going to react at the right moment when they are able accordingly. But if I don't go out and try, I am not going to know. And my child is not gonna say six months later, mom, I loved it when you took me to this one place. Yes, it was hard. I didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it, but look, I want to go back. And ta-da, there we go. That's the best answer and the best situation we can be in. Amazing. Well, your story is so incredible. It, these groups that you do in Tennessee, are they just for folks in Tennessee or is it something people can access outside of Tennessee? Uh, it is just for, for the ice skating in particular. It is just for folks in Tennessee. This is where Scott Hamilton has his skating academy. Uh, he is all over. He's fantastic. You love him. You know, and you can see all of the wonderful work he's doing online with Borderless Arts Tennessee. They used to be VSA. And, um, and, and there was the transition and they were asked, could you create a new group? And a new was, group was created 20 years ago. And uh, what they're doing right now is fascinating. Theater, masks, um, uh, uh, the, the graphic arts, okay? Music, dance. And um, a the majority of the, well now with COVID-19 and the reality, a lot yeah. of the 
workshops and webinars are online, which everyone can have access to. So if anyone goes to borderless, borderless arts, TN, .org, um, they can com communicate with them and they can ask and they can be given access to the videos that are being made right now, exposing everyone to a variety of artistic opportunities. And it's just super exciting. I know, I love it. And we've done um, art exhibits with them. Um, we've, um, we were, <laughs> today we were supposed to be, today's Thursday, yes. Today we were supposed to be in New York City with them because tomorrow we were supposed to be at the United Nations with a special visit. And on Saturday, we're gonna be having a private tour of the Guggenheim. So it's not happening. Sorry, coronavirus, I hate you. I wanna go Brooklyn, New York. She, she, I, she, she, I wanna go to Brooklyn, devastating. New York too. <laughs> <laughs> that was devastating, but at the same time, leaving today, leaving the day, this is what it has brought to us. Yes. And we keep making plans, but we keep surviving today and making the most of it. Yes, because as, as inconvenient as this time is, I keep saying there is gonna come a day when this, will, this too shall pass and we will look back and we will have a memory of this time. And it can be a memory of strife or it can be a, mem a memory of togetherness yes. and a, a time in which we grew in a way that we couldn't. I mean, I know people, I, I've got a ukulele sitting here and I keep saying I'm gonna learn it. And if I don't <laughs> learn it, might be that I never do because I may never have this time again. But I, you know, everybody's got their ukulele. Like, what is it that you have not had the time for that you said, if I ever have the time, because uh, it might be now. And and we have to live in the time that we're in. And I, I find that most of my unhappiness right now comes from focusing on what I can't do, not what I can do. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. So, and and that's very human. We are human beings after all, okay? Yes. It, and it's normal and it's so important to voice it. It's so important to verbalize it. It's so important to have someone else listen to you. Um, but bottom line, this is the way it is right now. Yeah. And keep I was just control. gonna say, how do we change our yes. minds? Our topic last week was change your mind. Because once you notice, oh, I'm focusing on all the things I can't do, not the things I can do. Well, then the next step is to change your mind. Yes, yes, I agree. And um, what you can do right now, understanding that has a lot of meaning, um, yeah. as menial as it might seem, there is so much meaning to what we have to do right now. Because again, we are, we're all going to be better people at the yeah. end of the, of the road uh, after this passes, because it will pass and it will take a lot of our effort to join forces and to make sure that it will pass. Um, yes. And we must come out stronger out of this. And our families, our children, we must come out better people and uh, better human beings and keep making this world a better place for all of us. I think that you have a future as a preacher because you take us to <laughs> church every time, Yadira. I, 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 I'm speaking from my heart. I'm speaking from my heart and uh, what I've experienced. One day, as we'll keep sharing, there are many difficult situations I've been in, and uh, it, I've gone through the being knelt and kneeling down and being in pain, um, but here we go, we, we rise. We, together we rise, and it has, I haven't done it alone. I've had good people around me to may help me make it happen. Well, you are amazing. Um, how can people connect with you if they want to follow your story and your beautiful daughter's story? Thank you. They can go to our website, www.autismhappykingdom.com. Um, they can send me an email, autismhappykingdom at gmail.com. They can also look for Rainbow Mosho, M-O-S-H-O, on Instagram and Facebook. And we are, we are, doors are open. Again, you can ask me anything you want. If I have an answer, I'll provide it. If I don't and you need help, I will make sure I'll go out there and reach out to the sources that I know that exist that hopefully we'll be able to give answers. And we, you know, we had you on last week and we just didn't, we felt like we just didn't get enough time. And so I'm so happy that we got to have you back this week. But we also, 
um, have said to you that we'd love to, if you, if you, if the two of you get together and we have several different series on the show that uh, we have Christina Adams and Nancy Oswald Jackson. And then if you guys have the time, we'd love to, we'd love to see some more of what you guys are doing. Uh, I think that you ladies are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you again for opening the door. Thank you for sharing the powerful messages that are being sent that we parents just need to listen to. And there are many messages out there, but again, yeah. we need to listen to everything. That's very important. And then we, we make the judgment, we make the call, we decide what it is that's going to be a benefit to our family. Yes, I, I'm fond of saying, take what you need here and leave the rest. Like, you know, if it doesn't sing to you, then that wasn't the song for you. But Yadira, we're out of time, but I, we adore you and we adore your beautiful daughter and happy, happy birthday. Thank you so much. It's been a beautiful birthday and bring it on 53. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Well, we will chat soon, but love to you for now. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Many blessings for everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.